The bombing of Rome in World War II took place on several occasions in 1943 and 1944, primarily by Allied and to a smaller degree by Axis aircraft, before the city was invaded by the Allies on June 4, 1944. Pope Pius XII was initially unsuccessful in attempting to have Rome declared an open city, through negotiations with President Roosevelt via Archbishop later Cardinal Francis Spellman. Rome was eventually declared an open city on August 14, 1943, a day after the last Allied bombing, by the defending forces. The bombings of the Eternal City were controversial for several reasons. Rome had been the capital city of Italy for around 70 years, but large parts of the city were more than 2,500 years old. The neutral Vatican City sat within Rome, and the Vatican also owned many churches and other buildings outside its territory but within Rome's city limits. Many Americans were against a major destruction of Rome. However, the British War Cabinet refused to see bombing Rome as a crime against humanity. The first bombardment occurred on July 19, 1943 and was carried out by 500 American bombers which dropped 1,168 tons of bombs. The entire working-class district of San Lorenzo was destroyed, and 3,000 Italian civilians were killed in the raids over five residential, railway districts. The military targets were few, the largest Stazione Termini contained a marshalling yard, railways and industries that manufactured steel, textile products and glass. Winston Churchill approved the bombardment by the words, I agree, WSC. 16.7.43. In the 110,000 sorties that comprised the Allied Rome Air Campaign, 600 aircraft were lost and 3,600 air crew members died. 60,000 tons of bombs were dropped in the 78 days before Rome was captured by the Allies on June 4, 1944. Topic: Correspondences between Pius XII and Roosevelt. Following the first Allied bombing of Rome on May 16, 1943, three months before the German army occupied the city, Pius XII wrote Roosevelt asking that Rome be spared as far as possible further pain and devastation, and their many treasured shrines, from irreparable ruin. On June 16, 1943, Roosevelt replied, Bombing of Rome was controversial, and General Henry H. Arnold described Vatican City as a hot potato because of the importance of Catholics in the U.S. armed forces. British public opinion, however, was more aligned towards the bombing of the city, due to the participation of Italian planes in the Blitz over London. H.G. Wells was a particularly vocal proponent of doing so. Topic. Notable raids Topic. July 19, 1943 On July 19, 1943, Rome was bombed again, more heavily, by 521 Allied planes, with three targets, causing thousands of civilian casualties. After the raid, Pius XII, along with Monsignor Montini, the future Pope Paul VI, traveled to the Basilica of St. Lawrence outside the walls, which had been badly damaged, and distributed two million liras to the crowds. Between 11 a.m. and 12 noon, 150 Allied B-17 flying fortresses attacked the San Lorenzo freight yard and steel factory. In the afternoon, the second target was the Scalo del Littorio, on the northern side of Rome. The third target was the Ciampino Airport, on southeast side of Rome. Topic. August 13, 1943 Three weeks later, on August 13, 1943, Allied planes again bombed the city, targeting San Lorenzo and Scalo del Littorio. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Bombing of Vatican City. Vatican City maintained an official policy of neutrality during the war. Both Allied and Axis bombers made some effort not to attack the Vatican when bombing Rome. However, Vatican City was bombed on at least two occasions, once by the British and once by the Germans. November 5, 1943 On November 5, 1943, a single plane dropped four bombs on the Vatican, destroying a mosaic studio near the Vatican railway station and breaking the windows of the high cupola of St. Peter's, and nearly destroying Vatican radio. There were no fatalities. Damage from the raid is still visible. March 1, 1944 On March 1, 1944, German airplanes dropped six bombs over the Vatican, littering the court of St. Damaso with debris. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>